We're going to learn how to build 3D models using solid modeling inside Roblox Studio. Here you can see I have two different parts. Now I'm going to move this part into the other part. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both parts, the blue part and the yellow part. Go up here to solid modeling, which is under the model menu tab. Click on the down arrow and select union. Immediately you see my two parts has been combined into a new part named union. You can now rename this part my union. If you play test right now, you're going to see that both parts are going to stay together. And there it is. They're not going to separate. In this next example, and I'm going to change the color to black. And I'm going to do a control D to duplicate. And I'll bring the second sphere up a little bit and change the color to red. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my red wall into a negative part, which I'm going to use it to hollow out the black wall. So this is my red wall being selected. I'm going to go up here to solid modeling and select negate. Now you can see that my part, the red wall has been changed to the name has been changed to negative part. And you can see that it's a little, the, the color, the transparency of the wall has been changed as well. Next, we're going to select the negative part together with the part that I want to hollow out, which is my black wall. So press down control key, select the black wall and the negative part, go up here, solid modeling, and click on union. Again, the two parts has been combined into a union part. And the union part is a ball that has been hollowed out in the middle. So it turned into a bow. We can rename this to bow. Let's play and take a look. And there is my bowl. If you don't like the bowl, you can undo what you did just by selecting the bowl here. Go back up here to solid modeling and click on separate. So now it has separated the black wall and the negative part. If you want to undo the negative part, go back up here to solid modeling and well, before I do that, let me just select only the negative part and go up here to solid modeling and click on negate. And it brings back the original wall. So now I have the red wall and the black wall. And the final option we have up there is if I select both the black wall and the red wall and then go to solid modeling and click on intersect, that's going to give me the, the section where both walls intersect. Let's play and take a look. And there it is. That's the middle part between the two walls. So guys, this is the end of our tutorial. I just want to take this opportunity again to remind you to subscribe and click on that bell icon so that you can be notified of new tutorials that are coming out. Our next tutorial series is going to be on scripting, so get ready for that. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you in our next tutorial. Peace.